In previous examples, we've seen how we pass a variable by value to a function. We can see here where we've initialized a variable called value. It's an integer equal to 10. We pass it to a function. We modify that variable. And we come back, it will print out the exact same answer. We'll run this real quick. And we see this. The whole concept of passing by value means that our variables are duplicated. We're not using the same variable. But what if we wanted to use the same variable? Well, C++ gives us an easy way to do that. And that's to pass a variable by reference. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my variable. I'm going to add an ampersand to the beginning of its name. I need to do this both in my prototype and my function header. I'll make no other changes to my program. But when I pass by reference, instead of creating a new variable in my parameter, I'm going to use the same one. When I pass by reference, it means I'm actually passing the memory address of that variable. That way we can use the same one. Now if I run this, you notice my value initially is 10, and it increases to 11 when it's run. So passing my reference might seem like a neat idea. It's a little bit faster because we don't have to recreate our values. But it also helps us overcome an obstacle that C++ has. And that is, you cannot return more than one value from a function. Our return type does not allow us to return two different values. However, passing by reference allows us to change multiple variables inside of our function. And we could pass potentially dozens of variables this way, changing all those different values. So it's just a quick and easy way to make a change inside of one function and have it affect another. But because we're doing this by reference, we expect this change and it makes it a little bit easier for us to debug. Therefore, we use other values and methods like a global variable. So this is a good feature we can use to change the value of a variable from a function which we make the call from using our called function.